Hi, this is Heather Hart, and I just wanted to take a moment to take you through Traffic Wave. Traffic Wave is an online autoresponder service that Shelly and I use, and it is only $17.95 a month for unlimited mailing lists. And if you've used Allweather, which is the other popular one, that one can get really expensive the more subscribers you get. This, but this one's unlimited emails, unlimited subscribers, unlimited lists all for one low price. So this is why we like to use this one. And I'm just going to take you over here to my account real quick. Um, Traffic Wave is very straightforward. So if you click here, it says Campaign Manager. And I don't have any right now, but you can add a new list very simply. You just give it a name. So you I'm going to do Test. And then you can give it a description if you want. Of course, you have to verify it. And you go on to the next step. And you can just fill out all this information. So you can just fill all that stuff out and then go to the next step. And again, fill out a little bit more um, information there. And this is where you select what information you want about your subscribers. So in general, I just go with the name and the email address is always required. The name and email address. But you can choose what sort of a name you want. If you just want the name, just a name, or if you want the first and last name. Um, you do that there. And you can add custom fields if you want. So if you're doing a book launch or something, you can select to use a custom field and say that you want their purchase number or receipt number. And you could say, please enter Amazon receipt number here. And then you can do a text field. Or you could put in here, you know, have you done something? And you can have a checkbox that they have to check before they do it. And you can make it a required question or not. Um, so we're just going to check that and go to step five. And this is where you work on your confirmation email. Sorry. You can request for them to send you an email every time someone subscribes to your campaign. So if you're offering this as a bonus for one of your books, or if you're if you did put a receipt number in there that you need to verify, you can have them email you, and then you can you can just let them know that you'll you'll send them it as soon as you confirm that they've taken the required step, verify the number they put in or whatever it is. And this is where you the confirmation email because Traffic Wave is a two tier system so they have to fill out the web form on your site to get on the mailing list and they have to confirm that that really is their email address and you can change up this email pretty much any way you want there are a few restrictions you know you're not supposed to put your website information or any downloads in this or anything like that it's just saying hey we want permission to send you so, so thank you for requesting to be a subscriber only one small step left please click the link below for your subscription. If you've signed up for Shelly and I's mailing list, you will have probably seen our email like this, or if you haven't, you can always do that at any time. And you can see a sample of it. This is what it will look like. But again, you can edit this, just this top portion right here. So that's that's what you can edit. That's the editable part. So it's, it's that simple, and then you can always put your name on it. And then, of course, you can preview it again just to make sure it looks okay. And then you have to agree to it. Now um, it just confirms their interest. There's no outside links or addresses. And then you click finish. And there it is, your new new campaign is set up. And you can go to your letters tab and create a new letter over here. Let's create new letter. And you can use a template or start with a blank letter. So if you're doing a newsletter every month, you can use a template and just fill it in. Um, I just set up this trial account for the purposes of this video, so I don't have any I can show you. But you can always start with a blank letter. And if you add a token, if you add the name field, you can just click that and I'll put their name in there. So whatever name they entered there is what will go there. And you can even do welcome and then their name. And then down here, the token field for down here is right here. And again, you can start with their name. It always puts a space after it, so I like to delete that and then put a comma and then so you can just kind of see how that's going to work and you can put in the t the fields anywhere you want and you can put in whatever you requested of them so if you requested their company name or any of this information you can relate to any of it um, and then these are all of your html options so if you want to link something 
you highlight it and click link and then you put the link in there so I just want to link to traffic wave you put it in there and it will actually take out the HTTP part for you and just link it and then that's linked and you can use tracker links put in smiley face paste from word and then you can always clear formatting with this right here you do have some font sizes and you can change your heading if you're doing a newsletter or anything like that and, and styles and so on and so forth that's all pretty much straightforward you can do a text version I usually stay in HTML it will convert it automatically for you and then you can add a template from the list here so if you wanted to do a newsletter you could select that one and then you can write your your newsletter in here and, and then you can save the letter or proofread it if you want to proofread it before you send it but you can also proofread it here you just click regular click left click on it and you can copy it and then you've got two of them and then you can edit it or you can just proofread it this is what it's gonna look like get back in the screen here this is what it will look like and again the highlights are where you use token so that will change to their name you can undo that or use a sample text um, just to see what that looks like and if you create your own templates they'll be in their own tab there this is how long you delay it so when they first sign up you want them to have this first one so you can submit the delay change and they'll get it the day well when they first sign up and then say you want them to get this one one week later so you're gonna hold it for seven days and send it out and that's how you space out your auto responded messages messages however you also have the option to send broadcast messages real quick before we get into the broadcast part of this I'm going to show you how to set it up so people can get on your list that's this capture pages and forms so if you go to hosted capture forms if you go to to this web address it's automatically there for you you can send people here and I'm gonna pause this while I subscribe alright so now I'm on this mailing list but you can also create a new capture form so this is if you wanted to put it on your website you would do a capture form and you just get the basic HTML form and you can just this is a JavaScript you just highlight it and copy it and then you can just paste it in the HTML portion of your website you can also do the raw HTML depending on what what your server works best with or you can customize the form now so this is what the normal form looks like it's pretty straightforward customize the CSS this is how big you want it to be that changes that you can also change any of these that changes if you have like long text here you can change it to a different percentage so the text doesn't spill over that's the one that I usually change you can also change the button text so you can change it to say whatever it is you want it to say and then finish and then you can get the HTML code for your edited button and again just paste it onto your website where you want it so now let's go over to subscriber overviews and stats this is where you're gonna see how many subscribers you have we have one subscriber and no removals so that's this information right here and if you've got lots of subscribers it'll show you the a bar graph here with different rates of how many people subscribe that day versus that day and this this is just some some of your stats here so the manage subscriber options and each of these options they're on the sidebar here but you can also get them by hovering over one of your lists um, so if you go to manage subscribers there's one subscriber on this list now I can broadcast to this group 
and I get to choose which which email I want to send. Now these are in order from the date they were created. So usually our broadcast are the last ones on the list. So make sure you go all the way to the bottom because the list gets long. And you can click it, proofread it if you need to, and then say I want to send it now. So you just click done. It's going to put the time in here now. You can change the time zone if you need to. And then you can hit submit and it's going to say do you want to proofread this first or proceed to continue? And then it's sent. It says task complete. And that's pretty much how simple it is. Um, now if you show the group, it shows you, you know, how many letters they've been sent, the last letters they received, and all that information. And you can even look at it in a little bit more detail here. You can send a broadcast just to that person or recycle them to a different letter. View letter history, that's what we've been sent. And there's just all sorts of different options here. And of course you can always delete them or add a note available. And then if you want to change anything on your campaign profile, you're going to go to the profile tab. So here's all of this and you can change your signature tokens. You can just change any of these right there. And then that's the campaign profile. You can always go to home to your main dashboard or you can change a different list here if you need to. Um, there's all these different options up here. Those are the main ones that we generally use. So that's essentially a quick glimpse of Traffic Wave.